Um, this is Lynn with Little Fit Nursery. I am back with um, my Mia. She is the LS Full Body Silicone by Jenny Lee. And I wanted to hop on a and do a topic chat. Um, I was thinking about this a little bit at the Rose Doll Show um, as I was seeing so many different babies and chatting with some of my friends. And um, a number of my friends who, you know, actually, I think at least two of them, I'm trying to remember if three of them, I think three of them actually had this baby. It was a full body silicone baby boy. Um, I, forgive me if, if not all of them were boys, but I think the ones I remembered were boys. And um, from a lesser known sculptor and, um, and for a full body baby, I think the price was very, very reasonable, maybe um, maybe $2,200 or something like that, which is a steal for full body silicone. And this was a pretty big silicone baby too. Um, definitely a solid 10 pounds and um, uh, like probably a, a good three month size baby. So, um, and anyway, they had bought this baby. Um, I think they're, you know, in, in, they all have collected the higher end silicone babies, but bought one that was a little bit less expensive. And the reason, and Ella, you know, Ella by Jenny Lee is not an example of that. She, I would consider to be a very, very nice higher end silicone baby. Um, but, um, but I guess th what I thought was really, really interesting about the purchase was um, they, you know, one of my friends said, you know, this is really like her play baby. She's a, it's a baby that, wasn't as expensive, so she doesn't have to baby it quite as much. Like for me, I'm like really, really careful handling my nicer full body silicone babies like baby Lynn and my Mia, my baby, my new um, silicone baby Michael. And, um, and I don't bring them to meetups and doll shows because you know, it just may, it would worry me too much if something were to happen. Um, and just case in point, um, my poor friend Diana, she had brought um, a very expensive baby of hers to the show and um, then she discovered she didn't know when it happened but she discovered you know because a lot of people were handling her dolls and um, she found out that the armature in um, one of the arms actually broke and um, I was just so horrified and so heartbroken for her because it is an expensive doll and that's just like not a cool thing to have happen to your very nice doll so um, so I think that, you know, she's decided like she's probably not going to bring her higher end silicones to the shows anymore. Um, unfortunately, because, you know, if something's going to actually happen to damage the baby, like that's just a horrible, horrible situation, you know? So anyway, um, anyway, I hope it's okay that I shared that. I just wanted to kind of warn people that, you know, just be, just be careful, you know? So, so my, two of my friends had bought, brought this, um, not as high end silicone to the show and because they don't worry about it as much. It's not as expensive. It's, um, I don't think it has armatures or anything like that. So there are kind of fewer things that could break or go wrong, but, um, but it got me thinking, you know, like I think we, there are so many different types of dolls, you know, in the reborn hobby. I wanted to kind of talk about some of the different kinds and, you know, what purpose they serve. And at least I'll just speak about this from my perspective. And because um, I, I was realizing, like, I have a big collection and I have kind of a diverse collection. I have full body silicones. I have a, a partial silicone baby that um, the Chi by Bonnie Sieben, who should be hopefully, um, you know, is, is in is being painted, <laughs> is in process. And then I have, um, you know, reborn babies. Um, and I also have, and now I just got my very first cuddle baby too. So while I chat, I'm going to change Miss Mia here into this really very pretty knit set by Will Beth. I got this at the show. This is a newborn size. I think it should fit her. She's kind of a skinny um, baby though. So if it doesn't fit her, I'll just change her out of it and <laughs> put this on someone else. Um, it has, has this really cute bonnet too. So let's go ahead and try it. Hopefully I'll put the bonnet on correctly this time because I, many of you guys were gracious to correct me <laughs> the other time when I think I had the bonnet on my, um, Emerson backwards. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just change Miss Mia. Now for, for me, Mia is a full, Mia is a full body silicone baby. She's the Ella by Jenny Lee. She does have a drink and wet system. Um, I and personally not really a role player with my baby, so I have never used it. Um, for me, she's just a wonderful baby to hold, and um, and just from a realism perspective, I, I love the way she feels. So she's just, she just curls up so nicely in the arms. She's a baby that I love to hold while I'm watching TV. 
Um, and she to me, and she's like the ultimate realism because just look how she's poor. She has a, she's the one piece pour. She's poured all in one piece. She's just gorgeous. Sorry. And this, she's a skinny baby. So I feel like her cloth diaper is always like slipping off of her. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to move it up a little bit. Let's see if I can get it to stay better. Um, <laughs> But she's a skinny baby. I'm like not used to this because both of my, both of my real kids were quite chubby when they were babies. So, all right, there we go. Okay, I think that's a little better, <laughs> a little bit of a better fit. Um. So so yeah, I um. So anyway, so I do the reason I collect full body silicones, and I think the reason many of us do is because I do think they are the ultimate in realism. Like they move like a real baby. They um. They feel, you know, the silicone is the material that still feels the most like skin. Um, and, uh, you know, and I think just obviously having the baby parts and everything, that is like the ultimate realism. So for me, I th think that's the reason that these dolls, besides the fact that the painting and process for making a silicone baby, I think is a little bit more, there's there's more, there's more involved to it. Because I've taken Susan's silicone painting class at the Rose Show last year. And it, it's not easy painting silicone. I, I feel like there's um, a lot of things you have to watch out for. It's a more complicated process. The matting process is tricky. Um, so there's a lot of things about it. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna fit her. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I feel like I, I'm finally back from the show and finally like, you know, kind of done with my work week and it's the weekend I can just kind of relax. Um, and I'm, and you guys are probably seeing some of these videos definitely after there. I usually am um, will schedule my videos out. She's, she's pretty skinny. This, <laughs> this thing looks really huge on her, but we'll just put it on her anyway. I think it'll be cute. So that's how I feel about the full body silicones. Um, just the ultimate in realism. Now, um, for me, oh no, this button is already loose. I don't know what happened. This is like so delicate. Ugh. okay. All right, well, I'll just, maybe knits, maybe I'm not like a good person to, to deal with knits. They're pretty delicate. Wow. Okay. Um, so I was just going to say with Reborns, I think what I enjoy about Reborns is I think that, you know, just the depth of artistry with the painting, I still feel like it's, um, it's just so beautiful to look at. And, um, and, and, I, and I think for a lot of Reborns, sometimes the the appearance. Oh, this is so pretty on her. Sometimes the appearance um, can look even more, look even more realistic visually than a silicone, just by the way that you look at them. Um, because I think the vinyl canvas is a little bit easier to work with. Um, there can be, I, I've seen just like incredible realism achieved in just in terms of the artistry. Now with Reborns, I, um, I, I also find the Reborns easier to dress because they are, you know, they do have a cloth body um, and they're a little, they feel a little bit more durable. So I don't worry about my Reborns quite as much. That's why when I go to these shows, I usually end up taking a Reborn with me versus a silicone. And so, yeah, but that's, that's really the reason. Um, look at her feet seem a little bit small for this, but that's okay. Um, Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then, um, yeah, and, and, and I do have friends who prefer Reborns over silicones. Like, they don't actually, like, and they will buy the, you know, the really nice prototype Reborns. Like, my friend who bought my bought the Charlotte from Laura Lee Eagles, like, one of the prototype babies. Um, I know those are the prototypes are not inexpensive. They're definitely getting, you know, kind of getting into silicone pricing territory for sure. But, but the artwork, or artwork is phenomenal and there are, it's just a different medium and some people prefer that. I personally just love the way that silicone feels. So that's my overall, overall preference. But, um, okay, let's see if I can do this correctly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so cute. Okay, I bought, and I got this from Julie Beck's booth. I forget the name of her booth at the doll show, but I bought this from her booth. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, 
I love this. This is so cute. I have a wipe set, which I'm going to have to show um, on Baby Lynn. <laughs> All right, so that's how I feel about my full body silicones and my reborns. And I think that cloth body silicones are really awesome because you do get the softness of the limbs. What I don't like about my violent reborns is that um, the head and the limbs are more hard. It's just the harder um, material, so, um, so it's not as cuddly. And especially certain sculpts are not too cuddly. Like I think the zero to three month reborns are really adorable to look at, but like my Saskia, my Maisie, and now my new um, uh, Melian, um, those three babies, oh, and Phoenix too by Andrea Arcello, my Kai. This is Kai, Emily, Maisie, and Savvy. They are um, not as cuddly to hold, like I think the vinyl reborns. I, I think um, when you get to a smaller size, they're, they're, they do feel a little bit more cuddly to hold, so. But, um, but I think what's fun about the bigger babies is that you can dress them. Um, there's more outfit options for a zero to three month size baby. There are a lot of really cute outfits that aren't even offered in newborn or preemie size. But like, for example, like I love preemie size silicones, but it's just so hard to find clothing for them. Like my baby Lynn, very hard to find clothing. And then, um, yeah, so I think cloth body silicones can be kind of like a, a nice best of both worlds. Easier to dress than a full body silicone, more um, and still really, really cuddly. All right, and then kind of last but not least, let me talk about my cuddle baby. <laughs> this is my um, adorable, she's here, she is right next to, um, <laughs> I'll kind of put her here right next to uh, my Mia just for a second. This is the... Um, she, so for those who missed my other video, she is the Annie, um, she's the Annie by Adri Stoetti head, and then the body is all cuddle. It's like all fabric. Um, so she has no vinyl limbs or anything. But I have to say, you guys, just the way, just feeling her, she's so wonderful to hold. And so I feel like my cuddle babies, um, I feel like cuddle babies in general, I think are just very therapeutic, like to hold. And they're very cuddly. And, um, I was uh, walking her around and I was saying hi to Bean at her booth and Bean held her and she said, she was like, wow, this feels like so nice. And she said, it almost feels like this is mo the most realistic, like the closest thing to a real baby in terms of how it feels versus a full body, unless if it's not a full body silicone and it actually like feels more realistic to hold. And I would agree with her, and, you know, compared to holding my vinyl reborns, like holding my cuddle baby is just, it's so nice. So I definitely like at some point would like to get another cuddle baby um probably like a boy um so yeah so anyway I just wanted to share that so I do think cuddle babies have their place too they're they're almost like kind of more like a stuffed animal in some ways um because it's just the body is so cuddly um the, the the con of course is the dressing options you need to keep the hands and feet covered at all times so you need to always have like little socks or shoes and and they need to have mitts on them all the time too so it's just something something to keep in mind so I'm gonna need to find some clothes for this little girl because I don't want her to ha wear this same outfit forever even though it's like really really cute on her so um yeah so you know so I was just thinking about kind of like how you know we use you know, like different dolls can serve different purposes. So just because you have like a really high end full body silicone doesn't necessarily mean your collecting is over. Like the different categories of dolls can all serve different purposes. And, and similar to the kind of play baby concept, that's how I feel also about like my Ashton Drake's and Paradise Galleries dolls. Like it's just nice that I can just handle them freely and just not worry. And because they're manufactured, um, if something were to happen, you know, you know, you can get another one and um, it's more, you know, it's more, it's easier to replace where versus, um, these one of a kind works of art. Like there is not another Ella like this one. And, um, and same, same here, like this, this Annie by Adri Stoetti, like Shea, Shea Romero could paint another one, but it would not look exactly the same. So I think because of that, there is an element of like, you know, I want to be really, really careful not to, um, have something happen to like my nicer dolls, but Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake, I think are great, you know, for kids, um, especially the Paradise Galleries babies that are designed for some of the younger kids. 
and um, and they're great for adults too. Like you don't have to worry about them. You can just handle them freely. You can comb their hair. You can change their clothes, take them out. You know, with really without worry. And um, so you know they're not going to be as realistic as you know the reborns and silicones, but they have their purpose too. So and um, and they're a great great budget option for people also. Um, oh, and then I forgot to also mention there's Lovabella and Baby Alive and the, the dolls that are like more interactive. And I don't think that those babies look as realistic as, as these babies do, but they're really fun to play with. Like you can feed them, you can, um, yeah, you could just do, you know, it, like more role playing videos. The Baby Alive's drink and wet. So, you know, I don't want to mess with my Ella's drink and wet system, but I will sure as heck play with the Baby Alive and, you know, feed it water. And I, you know, we have the one that can go potty and, you know, go potty. And it's like so much fun. Um, and the love of Bella is like so fun. They talk to you and it just feels very interactive. So, so I just love all sorts of dolls for all different reasons. Um, I don't know how you guys feel. You know, some of you guys might just collect one, one of these types of babies. Some of you may collect multiple types, but yeah, I would love to hear from you in the comments, um, what your thoughts are on this topic. If you, do you kind of like have different purposes for your babies um, or are they just all your babies and it just doesn't really matter? <laughs> and, you know, if you have a high end silicone, you, you know, if you feel kind of just free to play with and handle them, um, you know, more power to you too. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this topic um, and really appreciate you guys bearing with me as I had all, like my channel was basically just Rose Doll Show for a couple of weeks. I had so many videos I had taken and I didn't want to release them all at once because I thought that would be overwhelming. And I also needed a little bit of a break from making videos. So I just released them out a couple a day um, for, for a while and until they were done. But I'm gonna be getting back to my kind of every other day upload schedule again, so. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I have a very special, fun Pusheen box opening with Audrey coming up soon, too. So I'll see you later. Bye.